So we have a thread that was originally at right angles to the vertical and then it is dropped. We need to find certain things here. First is the total acceleration and tension as a function of theta. Second, we need to find tension when vertical component of its velocity is maximum. And third, we need to find the angle theta when the total acceleration is horizontal. So let's solve one by one the first part, the total acceleration and tension as a function of theta. And theta is given with the vertical. So by energy conservation, we can find the velocity when it falls down. So it has fallen down by a distance of r cos theta. So we can write half mv square is equal to mgr cos theta. So the acceleration will be towards center and its value will be v square by r and tangential acceleration will be g sin theta. So total acceleration which we need to find is root of an square plus at square and value of an square we will get from here. So an square, an is v square by r, so you can see from here v square by r is 2g cos theta. So an square becomes 2g cos theta whole square, so which gives the total acceleration as this. Now, now tension as a function of theta. So on the, on the ball, there are two forces in this direction. One is tension inwards and one is mg cos theta outwards and it's acceleration the in the normal direction is v square by r which is 2g cos theta. So we can say t minus mg cos theta is equal to man is equal to mv square by r is equal to 2mg cos theta. So from here you can see the tension as a function of theta is 3mg cos theta. Now coming to the second part, the tension when the vertical component of the velocity is maximum. So we have seen already that as a function of theta, velocity is root 2gr cos theta. The vertical component of that will be, so v is towards in this direction, so vertical component will be v sin theta. So v vertical is v sin theta, that is uh, so some constants into root cos theta into sin theta. So we need to maximize that. So root cos theta sin theta should be maximum or you can say square of that should be maximum. So you just differentiate this and you will get the term becomes zero on theta is equal to 10 theta is equal to root two. So when 10 theta is equal to root two, what will be the tension? So you just put the value of uh, the tan theta here, so if tan theta is root 2, then cos theta must be 1 by root 3. So we'll get our answer root 3 mg. So that is the tension when the, when the velocity in vertical direction is maximum. Now the angle when the total acceleration vector is directed horizontally. So this you can think like this. See when the total acceleration is horizontal, that means vertical acceleration is zero. And you can imagine that when the particle was here, it has a, it had a maximum vertical acceleration and that was mg. So the vertical acceleration started to decrease until it became zero. And then it started retarding vertically. So again, when it started, the vertical velocity started increasing. Then it started decreasing. So at the middle point, the acceleration will be zero in vertical direction. And that is the point where the velocity would have reached its maximum. So when vertical acceleration is zero, that's what we calculated here. The vertical velocity will be maximum at that point. So this same angle tan theta is equal to root two. So on this angle itself, the total acceleration vector was directed horizontally. So you might not have understood much what I've said. So let's read that. So in part B, we found that Vy is maximum at 10 theta is equal to root two, right? So at 10 theta is equal to root two, we can say that dVy by dt is also zero. 
So if vy is maximum, that means this should be zero. That means ay is equal to zero, which implies acceleration is directed horizontally. And that's what we needed to find at what angle is the acceleration directed horizontally. So that will be at the same angle theta, that is 10 theta is equal to root two. And what I had tried to explain here is the same concept, but qualitatively. So here we have proved it also, but you just think about what I've said that how you can deduce from this that the acceleration at that point will be horizontal whenever the vertical velocity is maximum. So again, I'll quickly try to explain once more. So here the acceleration is maximum downwards. So it's positive. Let's say it's positive downwards. Then it becomes zero. Then it starts to retard. So of course it starts to gain velocity because acceleration is positive until the acceleration becomes zero. So that will be the peak velocity. So after that it's retarding. So the velocity in y direction will start to reduce. And you can see that here it will become zero. So here the velocity was zero, then it accelerated, then it retarded. So zero, maximum, then zero. And at maximum, acceleration must be zero. So if vertical acceleration is zero, so only acceleration exists that will be in horizontal direction. So when the vertical velocity is maximum, then horizontal acceleration exists. So that's what we need to find. So we need to find where the acceleration is only horizontal. And here we found where the velocities in vertical direction is maximum. So they occur at the same instant. So that's why the theta for both the cases is going to be same. So yeah.